My name is Adilson Motter and I am a professor of physics here at Northwestern University. When asked whether a network system is sensitive to network perturbations, one might think of whether the structural integrity of the system is compromised when small parts of the network are damaged. And that's a meaningful question if we are considering structural networks, such as a spider web, the lattice of a crystal material, or the backbone of a tower. This question can in fact be traced all the way back to the work of James Maxwell, who, among many other things, was also a pioneer in the study of networks through his work on Network of Forces, published in 1864. But there is a potentially much larger class of network systems whose main function is not structural, it is instead to mediate a process, such as in the case of road networks, power grids, neuronal networks, metabolic networks, food webs, and social networks, among many others. For example, in a network of people deliberating on an issue, how does the convergence to consensus depend on the details of the network of interaction? In our power grid, where collections of power generators need to be in pace at approximately 60 Hz, how does the stability of the synchronous state depend on the particulars of how the power lines are connected with each other? Or how do the populations of the various species in an ecosystem depend on the specifics of their feeding relationships? We here at Northwestern University and our collaborator Ji Sung at Clarkson University have considered whether a process can change substantially as a result of a small network perturbation even when the overall network structure remains uncompromised. For example, Consider the evolution of cooperation in an iterated prisoner's dilemma game. Starting out with a mixed population of cooperators and defectors, the full population may eventually converge to cooperators only or defectors only, depending on a small change in the network. To formalize the problem, it's convenient to abstract the networks to be sets of nodes connected by weighted edges. In the language of mathematics, it's called a graph. Of all the networks with a given number of nodes and edges, the most interesting are those evolved or designed to optimize the process under consideration, be it speed to consensus, synchronization stability, or population diversity, where the limitations on the availability of nodes and edges generally represent the limitations on the availability of resources. And therein lies the rub as we optimize the network to enhance the relevant dynamical process, this very process may become more sensitive to small changes in the network structure. The removal or addition of a node or an edge, or even a small change in edge weights, can cause significant dynamical changes. As a concrete example, consider network processes that are governed by the eigenvalues of a coupling matrix. For instance, the rate of convergence to uniform distribution when something diffuses from node to node, the onset of pattern-forming Turing instability on a network, and various aspects of network synchronizability are all determined by an important eigenvalue called the algebraic connectivity. So let's focus our attention on networks optimized to maximize the algebraic connectivity. As a function of the density of edges, this eigenvalue exhibits cusp-like peaks. These peaks become more pronounced and larger in number as the network size increases. In fact, there are infinitely many, infinitely sharp peaks in the limit of large networks. Such cusps are signatures of extreme sensitivity to structural changes. What if, instead of the density of edges, we perturb the weights of the edges? In some networks, the algebraic connectivity depends linearly on perturbation strength. In others, it can exhibit very pronounced singular behavior. And in fact, it is more prevalent in optimal networks. Likewise, we can determine whether a network is at a cusp or away from it in this case. Whether a system exhibits sensitive depends on network structure depends on the class of network, the type of perturbation, and the dynamical process. For processes governed by the algebraic connectivity, undirected networks are sensitive to edge removal and node addition, but not to edge weight perturbation. 
whereas directed networks are sensitive to edge weight perturbation, but not to changes in the number of nodes or edges. The sensitive dependence of collective dynamics on the network structure constitutes a network analog of the butterfly effect observed in the phenomenon of chaos. The butterfly effect commonly refers to sensitive dependence on initial conditions, where small changes in the initial state lead to large changes in the subsequent evolution of the system. Here, large changes in the dynamics are instead determined by small changes in the parameters of the system, which in this case define the underlying network. Thus, this phenomenon can be interpreted as a parameter counterpart of the sensitive dependence observed in low-dimensional systems. The effect is associated with chaos in low-dimensional systems, but in the case of network systems, it's induced by optimization. Sensitive dependence on network structure has several implications. On the one hand, it implies that the dynamics can be manipulated substantially by small structural adjustments, which has the potential to lead to new control approaches based on modifying the effective structure of the network in real time. On the other hand, the observed cusp-like behavior imposes constraints on how close one can get to the ultimate optimal in practice. We thus believe that the interplay between the network structure, optimization, sensitivity, and robustness is a promising topic of future research that can offer fundamental insights into the properties of complex systems. It is instructive to interpret these results in the context of biological networks, genetic, neuro, ecological ones. Those networks are believed to have evolved under the pressure to both optimize fitness and be robust against structural perturbations. That means that, in general, they would not undergo major loss of function when perturbed. For example, a mutation in a bacterial organism is lethal only in a minority of cases. An explanation for this is that much of this robustness comes from optimizing fitness under diverse environmental conditions. That is, bacteria have numerous non-essential genes under a given condition, likely because they are required under different conditions. When kept under stable conditions, such as in the case of intracellular bacteria, the genetic network evolves to virtually have only the genes essential under that condition and are thus sensitive to gene removals. These bacteria are close analogs of the optimization of a network process discussed here. Our results are compatible with the optimization robustness trade-off expected for biological networks and they suggest that further insights can be provided by investigating the equivalent of the sensitive dependence on network structure in the cases of varying conditions or varying objective functions.